and welcome back to the Reapers, everyone. So we bring you the next air attack match, and we've got air attack today, which is the PvP armor or GR, if you like, and we're going against the 118. Uh, the story was the 118 wanted to come fly with us, and so they've been bugging me to do that. But we're so busy at the moment with campaign flights and stuff, we're booking like months ahead. So uh, what we did is we got them in on a PvP match instead, and that should keep hopefully keep them happy for a bit. So uh, first of all, hello, boys, everyone here, hello. Hello. Big shout out from Trident. And so what we've got is an interesting mix here. We're in the spectators, obviously. You know, you can't listen to the pilots because that's cheating, but we can listen to spectators. We've got a mix in the spectators of Grim Reapers or Air Attack, whatever you want to say, and uh, the 118. So it may get a little bit tasty in here. We'll just have to see how it goes. Just a bit. It is 18 plus, uh, so bear that in mind. Um, and let's be quickly introduce the fighters for this round and, and who's got what, and then I can let the boys do their thing. We've got Rage in an F-15, Shadow in an F-15. I told you everyone will go F-15s, they're just the best. F-15 is Signore and Joker with a um, F-18. There will be Amrams and a couple of fuel tanks, I suppose. And a bit more interestingly, the 118, uh, this guy's got lost, but if we look at him, he has got... Uh, two Tauds, and we were just talking about that. We've never seen Taud, the uh, Reapers have never seen Taud in BVP before. Now we're doing standard Sato rules, this is 4v4, so I just say that Sato rules, you know what I mean by that. But Raz, is Raz the boss? Uh, he's one of the so, owners. Okay, that's fine. One of them. Okay, uh, I'm not going to delve into that politics. We've got this guy, we've got Raz in the F-15, we've got Iron in the F-18, and we've got F15 of, just trying to work out that, I'm going to say Eddie. Eddie. And let me just check the F14, it was Obi. Right, uh, you can carry on chatting, boys, and uh, let's hope for a good match. What do you think they're going to be doing with those towers? Let's a Rio. No, Obi is the Rio, Devil's the pilot. Roger, ah. I'm just going to have to call him, um, I'll just need to call him whatever comes up, Obi. It's just going to be easier. Yeah. Me. Roger, what do you think they're going to be doing with those towers then, guys? Well, I mean, we know what they're going to be doing. They're just going to go up really high and launch them off and try to uh, deceive while the other guys are probably coming. So is it to make the Blues think that the towers are aeroplanes or missiles? I never really understood that. Well, the... It's, the, uh, it's twofold. One, <laughs> if you get them far enough away from you and far enough away from each other, they turn up on your radar as missiles. Roger. And they will suck missiles toward them. Roger. Okay, it'd be interesting if our boys fall for it, because I'm pretty sure they don't know, because they can't see the reds, obviously, at the moment. They can't hear us. Yeah. They won't know there's any towns in play, at least for the first match, until, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm quite interested to see what's going to go on. I'm going to give it to Razgreeze. I think he's really going to shoot them off from afar, but this guy's going to go low in F-14 and want to get in a dogfight. He mm -hmm. loves dogfight, man. Oh yeah. Uh, that was so close to, like, <laughs> some guys taking off there. <laughs> Yeah, that's so rich uh, to come. I, I was like, hey, stop, stop, stop! Nah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, It was a miscommunication at the red team uh, to, uh, to the blue team, so yeah. Anyway, it will be very, very interesting to like see how like our attack react to like pads because I have now given both teams clearance to take off. There you go, the boys. I'm sorry, what was the, what was the password again? It's a flight call out. Yeah. Yep. They're, they're streaming. We're not going to just say the password wrong. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is why I sent you guys. The... <sighs> Give me a couple of seconds here. Oh, uh, okay, who's asking for the I would PM? Try to try to cover that. There you have it. Server name on top, password below. One of the GI guys took off the fucking grass. It's not good stuff. <laughs> <Did they? laughs> yeah. it, it's called tactical yeah, supremacy, that. guys. Yeah, it's right. called tactical supremacy. It's like blinding our aircraft into the ground. Ground clutter. Spazzed out. Oh, someone's lumbering. And just so you guys, just get, so you guys know, two of our pilots are actually flying without track area. No. Yeah. Yeah. Though, uh, though at the same time, uh, in, uh, in like Seattle, uh, it is actually quite achievable to like fly without track IR since it's BBR mostly. Unless you're merged, because then you're completely full bar. But yeah. Yeah. 
They have enemy padlock off, right? Yes, I think so. We ha always have. Yeah, that Raz is gonna be fucking shit if we figure that out. Yep. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. Hmm. I'm thinking here, do we really have it off? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not certain. But for what? What's on? Padlock. If it's if it's default settings for Seto, it's it's usually off. Yeah. Yeah. So both Eddie and Raz are gonna have an issue there. Uh, Raz is quite a bit more because he's wanting to get in with my fight probably. Eddie is gonna be as far away as he can get. Hey, one eighteen guys, if you guys want Raz's streaming. Oh. Look at superior Grim Reaper formation. Superior formation. 10 seconds later, Shadow Smash. lags and crashes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let me... Yeah. The Reapers are burning. Why are they burning? Takes that for the end. You gotta get up to high as fast as possible. Get up high. That's 200 miles, boys. Maybe. Then it comes down low. Well, they want to get to like Mach 2 before the engagement starts, ideally. Yeah. That way, they're gonna use the missiles. That's great. Two it's, it's America, burn all the fuel. <laughs> yeah, we have way too much gas to not just burn it away. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a good showdown. They're both going high. Yeah. They're both going to uh, level uh, off probably right around Bullseye. Yeah, start one. Probably. My guess is the F-15s are going to go to 37,000 because that's the best. Uh, it is exactly 37. Well done. Well done, Squirtle. I would love to see if there's music on yet. And then they're gonna go Mach Music 2, on and they're gonna fire a missile 40k. My eyes right now is on the F-14 with the Taut. I really want to see how this works. Trust me, so do we. And as you can see, the F-18 <laughs> just doesn't have the power to keep up with the F-15s at full burn. And then leaving him <sighs> in the dust. Oh, yeah, I was, you I was trying to get him down low. We have the same problem in like air attack uh, regarding the J11, which I'm usually flying. It's like punching full up for Well, guys, I am keeping up with you. Next throttle detail. <laughs> <laughs> on the yeah, no, that's, that's the problem. Is... I don't know why he's in an F-18, honestly. Because like failing script. Maybe that's why. Okay. Yeah. Uh, say, yeah. Uh, uh, let, uh, let me say like this: uh, F-18 turning capability is. Simple enough, awesome. Plus the date link is nice, yeah. w uh, which is similar to the uh, uh, J11, except the turning capability since it has ETs, which yeah, sorts that out instead. Even okay, F15s up at thirty-eight thousand feet now. Mm -hmm. The air attack ones. Optimal. They are high as a kite. I wonder if Shadow realized he drained all his fuel. <laughs> oh, I went in and, <laughs> yeah. I went in and told him that he was leaking fuel. They're going high. Oh. They're going about 40 and uh, 118 for down to 26. Interesting difference here. Sure, I hope that that's where you're going to fire in GWS. like Red is stopping about it. Uh, just a disclaimer already here for, uh, for the round after. I will be probably shit since I haven't flown in a week. Um, uh, Master Sergeant Yoda. Uh, PTT. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Speaking of PTT, PTT, sorry for the background noise, that is literally the only chance I've had to have dinner. But uh, I'm good now. So I think these are NASA's F-15s, not the Air Force's. NASA's? Are they going uh, out right. for weather weather records? Yeah, I think so. Must be. You know what NASA has? I think like 20 F-15s. Really? What the yeah. fuck? Really? I know they have P-38s. There's got to be but cheaper ways of going higher. For, uh, for analysis. Oh, interrupt. Sorry to interrupt, but we've, we've got a split in air attack here. They're going two left, two right. Uh, distance between combatants is 100 miles, so they are 45,000 feet now and going hard left and hard right. What's this all about? It's like Squiddle. Squiddle. Uh, uh, 
quite well, though they're getting a box formation. Bad going. Nice and quiet now as well. Looks like Joker caught up. That's good. Yeah, so they'll be doing. They'll be splitting up now. Probably about a ten mile gap between the two flights. Okay. They're all still burning. Our oh, bags off. The F-15s bags off. So I can tell you, the blues have used a lot more fuel than the reds, simply because they're twice as high. And the poor old red is down at Tangles 25. Oh, they're about to learn a hard lesson, boys. Yep. Which yep. is which is when we're gonna get a Mark three missile in the yeah, face. This is whenever you're doing a PVP, you have to do everything to the extreme. It's one thing I remember learning in my PVP days. <laughs> okay, distance now 83. Let's look at kinetic energy. So we've got my boys at 660 knots. Uh, that is a ground. So 660 to 700, and oh, and the Poor old reds are down at 530. So the difference there is 150 mm. knots plus kinetic energy. That's a huge difference. Well, that's much better. thicker here at the lower altitude. Oh, no, this is ground speed. This is ground speed, Cap. Squiddle. Cap, you got to F3 the blue guys and get the new sonic boom. Roger. He's now uh, 740 hours, the blues. Oh, yeah, it's got a punch right on Wagner. I'm pretty have... sure. That is the same noise as the tank gun firing in combined It is, isn't it? It is. The cheap <laughs> bastards. It is. Right, the difference now is, look, the blues are coming down, so they're trading their potential for kinetic. They're up to 800 knots, 800 ground, and the poor old red's at 550, so 250 knots in blue favour. That's going to pay off, gentlemen. We already sound the same there at 35 from each other. 850 knots for blues... 600, so still 250 is a difference. 900 knots for blues, 900 and 620 for reds. So that's nearly 300 knots in in the green to the blues. Massive. F14 appears, F14 appears to be splitting off on to the right on his own. Nah, only just. Looks like, looks like we're doing yeah, F15s it. are going like Mark 1.7 right now. Yeah, 950 yeah. knots, 950 to 650, so over 300 knots faster. Kinetic energy. Blue is barely at Mark 1. That's massively faster. Beautifully timed by Blues. 1,000 knots now, 1,000 knots ground speed to 630 and decreasing. So that's 400 knots faster to the Blues. Ooh, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna suck to be a red. <laughs> 1,020 knots on the blue. 1,030. 40, 40 nautical miles between the two of them. They're going to start firing soon. Uh, 14 missiles will be coming out any time now. There's now 450 knots different. Delta 450 knots. Oh. Oh, 35 knots. I just like that this would be quite interesting because F-14s, we haven't really faced them in a long time. Modern. Yeah. 30 Good miles. now. That's why they're fighting a real fourteen. Eleven hundred miles. Eleven hundred miles. Being a real and a fourteen with jammers is absolutely terrible. The F fourteen should uh, should be burning now. I mean, they should all be burning. Yeah, got uh, Energy is way lower on red. By a massive amount, by five hundred oh knots. Look how quick. Look how better we can fire compared to reds. Look how fast that missile's <laughs> going. Out. Missile out. Get ready to go to Shit, guys. Uh, why can't we hear yeah. the comms? Why can we hear the red comms? We shouldn't be able Master, to hear that. what are... Uh, Master, Master, Master what are you doing why there? are you listening in? Master? Master Sergeant Yoda? Yeah. Uh, why can't we hear red comms through you? Are you watching the stream? Maybe he's watching the stream. Yeah, yeah I was. Uh, uh, Ooh. Okay, oh, right. yeah. There's one casualty on red. One the power of those missiles is going to be next. It's going to catch the 14s too slow. That 14 should be twice that speed. Oh, oh yeah, that may catch him. Close yeah. if it catch up. Uh, that's a fast missile. It's still Mark one. Oh, he's down. Ooh. And it's down to one. It's a painful oh, lesson yeah. to Red. It's a painful lesson, boys. It's the difference between high energy and low energy shooting. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna, Joker's going to run into one. Joker is running into one. That's going to oh, be embarrassing. Oh, nice Ooh. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cool. that was close. Fucking hell. <laughs> Probably out of energy, still. Yeah. Is there a way to see the bubble distance? Do you know where that is? No. I don't think he's... Well, it, looks like, it looks like the F-14 is still alive. But 
cripple. Oh, everybody is regrouping. At this point, this is what happened in the key off match. They pushed this guy cold, but they didn't stay hard on him. Mm -hmm. That, um, F-14's still up, boys. Yeah. Is he a glider? Uh, Signore has probably yeah. spotted him because he has fired the missile in the general direction, I think. Yeah. Yep. Missile on the Yep, he's lost yep. F-14 is flashed. Yeah. Uh, did he? Raz is aggressive. No. No, no, he didn't actually. He never dropped his time. Nope. Who? I should have dropped them 90 miles away. <laughs> yeah. He didn't yeah, fire he his just his away. Away. Yep. Wait, who did drop their missiles? Fiend, no, it's uh, the 14. The 14. Yeah, 14 never fired. No. Hmm. Yeah, he was like within 30 miles and he still didn't fire the Phoenixes. I, I think. Probably he did, couldn't find him or something. Yeah, now, I think Raz. Now it's from away from each other. Uh, Raz is out of there. Uncontested battle zone. Blue mm -hmm. win. Oh, did he just Yeah, leave? actually, did he? No, no, no. Uh, he, he, he is currently 40 nautical miles from. He's, he's turning so, in. So, yeah, he has 20 nautical miles to spam. Turning back in anyway, but... yeah. What's the distance worth? from the bubble tail? Like eight years. Uh, distance from the edge for him right now is like 20. No, no, no. Right. I just mean the max distance. Like uh, the safe all off. Oh, okay. And he's about 20 miles away from nearest blue. I see your Joker is firing uh, not the high speed missile. I think he may just trying to keep him cold. Yeah. Like it's working. Probably. It is. Scenario we will have the advantage here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If Rask is about Mark 1. Chasing him down. He's going to chase him really quick. Signoria is going to get fast as hell. Saying that Raz is fast as well. Yeah. Yeah. The Signoria has the height uh, yeah, energy a, advantage. Potential, yeah. Watch out. If they just keep chasing, he he doesn't have time to turn back without yeah. killing himself. Mm hmm. Those two missiles are going to kiss. Oh, man. <laughs> Oof. Oh, my God. That's a different approach to, to, to like porn, missile porn. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you want a blue F 14 just like sniper. Rulers. Be back in now. now. This guns. should be uh, a. Let's hear how far away it's 43 nautical miles from Bulls. Oh, wait a second. I'd like to see how he's only here. got heat. Oh, no, he's got one uh, AMRAM left. Looks like. Yeah. Signore probably cranked there a bit to like throw him. Watch out. I want to see a murder. Does he Ooh. see him? I'm not sure he's seen him. Nautical miles launch. Does Signore see him Signore because he's slow? I was ignoring. Stop getting a launch warning. Oh, oh, it's probably down. No, that's a blind spot. No. Oh, wait, what? It's firing. Oh, firing on. Oh, it's fine on re ah, fired on the wrong guy. Because <laughs> it depends with the F-15 wave got your radar point. Yeah, he couldn't. Um, he couldn't see Signore because Signore was too high, wasn't he? And vice versa. Yeah, too close. Yeah. yeah, too close and too high. So ignore it, can't find him either. Let's see here. How far away are they? 45 nautical miles from Bulls. Rash well, uh, Ray just Rage took a five. shot, so I mean, Which they should have, a general, should, or should have a general idea of where he is altitude wise. Uh, Rage is probably on the interception course if he was trying to like run around and all this. Yeah, exactly. No, just shot a shot. Oh, he's got in. Oh, he's, got in. he's got in. Blue. Six miles. Is it going to be a blue and blue Ooh. fucking Fox 3? No. <laughs> I want it Probably to be. not. But... Ignore is going down. Ah, uh, oh. Raskris is firing at the wrong place. Raz is a 16. I think Ignore has seen him. Ignore has seen him. Raskris. Raz needs to start doing it. Ignore lost him. Ignore is blind. Rage will see him. Rage will see him. Got a missile out Joker from Joker. Just launched. That's a question. They've got him surrounded. Look, he's Ooh. in the middle of a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Shadow is the Looks like bar if he doesn't AWACS turn code. If, if Signore goes boss, oh, like Shadow like isn't a base. No, he never went for him. He never tracked. He never and tracked. There is losing a missile. That was a, I think yeah. he's firing him. That should be it. Oh, no, yeah. Fired on him. If he's mag dogging. That's yeah. fire. Oh, dear. This is going to Joker just fired. Ooh. Two on him. Oh, <laughs> <Just> one. <laughs> hey. Yep. Oh, oh Shadow just friendly fired. <laughs> All right, we'll run everyone. Ooh. Ooh. Shadow just Shadow about was hit. killed Raz. I mean, if anything, the attack view, attack view recording that we're getting from this file will just be a phenomenal training tool. Roger. And that was actually one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this, was to help give some newer pilots some sort of... I don't really want to say curriculum, but some Ooh. sort of thing to look... Oh, they're going, they're going, aren't they? Right, up they go. Next match. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not, not exactly a serious thing in the fun. Alright, 118 pilots who are going to be participating with this Capture Iran campaign. Make sure your S or your uh, SRS is up to date and working and everything will be flowing smooth. You got it, boss. Hey, right, off they go again. Let's see if there's any change uh, in either team. The only thing I'm concerned about is this because the Tomcat is going to be literally twice as fast as that Hornet that's following him, and the other group of two Hornets, one's going to be Mach 0.4 faster than the other. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to be going gate though, Joker. I think they're going to be going mill power again. That's what they did last if time. If they don't, they'll struggle depending on how high they go. Mm -hmm. to go up to 40k, they won't be able to turn. Yeah, that's exactly what happened last time. You guys were going 1100 knots, these guys were going 500 knots. Yeah. I want to see the towels! Yeah, well, I'm talking about the towels. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think... None of them really put any pressure on us, it was all... I mean, we knew we could defeat the missiles, so we weren't really... Prepared. But they were all extremely pressured. You guys also did a phenomenal job of jamming too, because I had no idea what the range was. Mm. I had, I all I know is I'd get a uh, a missile would go pit bull on me, so I'd fire back and go. Um, were you guys jamming the one eighth? Jamming. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the only reason we started jabbing was because we saw them jabbing and said, "Okay, well, we'll take that tactic too." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. With the Hornet, is the jammer built into the airframe, or is it a pod you have to bolt on? Uh, the Hornet will have to. The, the Hornet should have to carry a pod such as like the 18 Growler, but uh, and at the moment, I think it might be implemented. I'm not 100% sure. Nope, it's not. The jammer is not implemented in the F-18 yet. Cool. That's why I'm surprised. I was the last one to be fired on. The jammer is actually in the AGT-73. Oh, is it really? Yes. Oh, the more you know. Because I know in the F-16 they seem to carry like a belly thing that looks like a thing the A-10. They have an external jammer they can put it on as well. Yeah, yeah just like, a, the, like the A-10. For ground jamming, but the air jamming is all done through the AGP-73. Receives radar signal and sends back a false radar. Very smart, that AGP-73. Right, GR is up to 20, blues are up to 20 as well. There is a bit of separation between the blues, like Joker said. Yeah, there's a, there seems yeah. to be a lot of unorganized flying guys going on. The flu A-10s uh, told me that uh, when that thing first came out, all the pilots were, were very impressed because it was the first jammer that was a smart jammer. It would work with the radar. The radar would detect the aircraft, tell it what type of a plane it is. And then the jammer had a data bank that would allow it to change its signal to jam that particular aircraft. Yep. Cool. Charles is this going how it's meant to be going? Don't yeah, tell me what's meant to be going on, but is it going how it's meant to be going? Uh, what do you mean? The tail. In terms of what's happening to Blue right now, is the tail's it going on the J11. you expect it to be going? Not necessarily, but I'll tell you what, due to the fact that we are a trading squadron, I'm not exactly expecting these guys to come out on... Oh, yeah, of course. It is uh, going they, exactly as predicted. They're flying. What, 
Yes, but what they should be is uh, they at the moment no, no, they should be in the line us, of don't threat. Don't tell us what. Don't tell us what. Right. I'll tell you what, though. Red's angels forty. Sorry, and blues twenty. So, oh wow! Look, the reds are twice as high. That's the blue F fourteen is at thirty six thousand feet and climbing. Roger. Oh yeah. Blues are going for a different tactics this time, by the looks of it. You see, the tiles are going to be so far behind anyone else; it won't matter. Mm. It's it's just a waste of drag and miss a waste out, of weapon out station. From blues. Oh my no. He c 120 miles, no. That has to be a mistake. What weapon Wait, no, did he shoot? The tals. They're the he fired a Tald. No, I can't see it for some reason. Oh dear. Can you go spectate the Tald? The Tald has a maximum range of 78 miles at 40,000 feet. So that's about that. Mach 2. Another Tald out. He's at about, he's at about Mach point, he's about Mach point 7 or Mach point 8. He's firing them. They won't last longer. Gone out from that. No, unless the unless the tactic is just to confuse the radar at this rate. It won't confuse them. We on we don't search that far. It's a waste. It's just a. But now, if they get within like eighty miles of those enemy air, of well, in this case our aircraft, um, if you have two aircraft down low on the deck that they can't see, but they see those two decoys up high, they'll think your entire force is up high. And we've been working with this extensively They're for so the past small, three I don't think it, the radar would be able to pick them up at that range. It's more of the amount of ECM that they dump out that tricks the radar into think that that's a jamming. Yeah, can the AWAC see the towels? I don't think it can. I think it can, but I think AWAX is smart enough to distinguish that it is a deep. Yeah, so... probably. Well, if it is, then our guys will know the two guys. So let's go for a so we've got reds are going into their box over forty one thousand. We've got blues. With the tomcats going south in the mud. The blues are doing something different. They've got one guy on the deck. Look, going, going towards the deck. F eighteen. One guy. Yeah. guy twenty seven. One guy twenty four. So it's, it must have something up their sleeve. I don't know what. And it looks like they're doing a flanking maneuver, oh, trying to probably shoot from the side. Because at this rate, he's moving right now. It's current. It's uh, perpendicular to the AWACS. wax They won't. They won't get him on here, right? If he travels. Yes, but if Tomcat stays at that altitude, if he fires a missile, they'll just be able to dump it into the ground. Yeah. So <laughs> the missiles are just he's, ineffective. He's just gonna have to climb later once he gets nearer. They'll still be able to dump the missile. Mm, mm, true. Okay, we've got a big kinetic energy difference again. We're nearly 800 knots ground with reds and 600 knots oh, ground the, with the, the phoenix are actually. A lot more uh, more reliable if firing upwards, since the radar can. It's a lot harder to do. Yeah, it's more reliable. Not if the enemy aircraft heads towards the ground. Mm. Not if they're already too low, the, the missile we We've got reds now up to nearly 900 knots ground speed. Kind of wondering when it's going to turn in. Blues are down at 600 yeah. knots. So we've got a different I mean, like, my only... 300 knots. My only concern is that uh, he's going to be way too far away to be of any help to the other. Yeah. Exactly, that's where I was leading. At this point, he's far enough away that he's not going to be able to assist his teammates in any way. Red's coming up to 1,000 knots ground speed. Blue's still back down at 600. That's 400 knots delta. Rage is nearly at 1,000 knots. Yep. We've got, we got, this... got Raz in here. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, just fit, uh, just watch this, this Delta kinetic energy here, the difference between the two, and see how much difference it makes on this first shot. It's probably the first big lesson to learn. That F-14 is turning. Yeah, I mean, down. if you look at where the Tels are, though, in relation to the front three that are doing the attacking, they're no use. Yeah, yeah that's going to be out. He's going to be outside the engagement zone. Yeah, it looks oh, yeah, like the Tomcat as well. That the Tomcat is. The other big mistake is that we they know we only have one Tomcat. The first mistake. And those things mock Tomcats. So if you see two fake t two Tomcats flying next to each other, oh, those are fake. Oh, we have a missile left from Signore. Yeah, that missile got up to 2100 knots. Okay, I see what you mean by that kinetic energy difference. That yeah. missile's hauling. 
Yep. Yeah, so yeah, I, believe that, I believe Signori fired on the guy that's low, so now he's defensive low and is in the shit, to put it one way or another. Them flares, because that'll help. Damn, a lot of missiles out at this time. <laughs> Oh, oh, this could be one death here from the Hornet, from uh, Preserve, he might... Yeah, he's trying to notch, isn't he? He's trying to notch. Ah, bad, bad, bad. He's dead. Ah, there goes Reserve. Look at all the missiles flying. It's a fuck on shadow. See, they're all defensive now, and there's nothing they can do about that. Well, at least they're... Well, like they not. can. Yeah, it's aim 54 out from the uh, for Hornet. He, aim 54 from the Hornet. He, he's Wait, looks like it's fine. tracking. Looks like it's tracking. It's out of the towel. Is it firing at the towel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's firing his own towel. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Even I have to laugh at that. Dude, that's great. Oh no! <laughs> You see what I was saying about it? It'll affect your own yeah. radar. So at this point, at this point, Star there should uh, should recommit. <laughs> if, <laughs> if they were using the the data link effectively, they'd know that we are all cold and they should re. Oh, we went past the top. Dead. Yeah, it looks like it's tracking his own guys. Hang on, yeah, I think it's tracking a friend. Alright, I... Yeah, I am back, Maverick. Sorry you couldn't fight, Mav. We are kind no, of pressed for time it's, there a little bit. It's not... It's not it, you don't need to be sorry. It's my rig that decided to fail. They survived a bit longer this time, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because we wasn't as aggressive. I think the Tomcat out there is confusing our guys a bit. We're not really used to a guy out there, are we? No, I don't think it's confusing them. Well, they're flying into an M54. Well, aim we've, we've got a good aim 54 from Blues, look. It's going right for a signore. R27 out. It's coming down on well, him. Yeah, we've got an ET uh, out on Star Wars. I don't know. Signore is so kill. fast, he'll be able to notch the missile, really. Yeah, the, that missile is true. Evasion. Like and he's gonna he's gonna notch both the M120Bs as well in that pros. And Shadow fired on him, so he's probably gonna. No, he's gonna defeat that. I think Star Wars is quite yeah, well. That, that Phoenix has no more energy. What did you say about Star Cap? I think he's. I'm good at talent spotting. I think he's quite good at Star Wars. Star is a phenomenal pilot. Star is actually our F14 instructor. Cool. Oh, I think no, he's not sure. Yep, he notched it. Nice, that's nice. Good work from the Blues. They're, they're really Ooh, holding it's, it's their own. Blacked out. Holding their own. No, he's not. Ray just going after Iron, the... Iron's going to get... Uh, Signori's opened the door. Sorry, Shadow's opened the door. Sig oh, I thought Iron was going to paste him. Yeah, I heard you should have pursued... <laughs> Um, oh, Rage, Rage is going it's because the missile behind him went pitbull on him, so he's gone defensive. But he's not looked at where the missile's coming. They're doing well. They're holding their own. Just split no. one of our guys off. Yeah, Rage, Rage is just kind of left to... everyone else. Yeah, he's going for the F-14, <laughs> isn't he? He's putting the F-14 out to dry. Yeah, but I mean the f 14s useless anyway now. Yeah, really it, it is. With the same set. Without the Phoenix, it's not much use. I wonder if oh, Star Wars. Oh, Rage fired at a towel. Yeah, yeah. They fired at a towel. Oh, it works. Uh, the towel worked. The towel. It works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I enough. told you guys. I told you guys that can sometimes come in uh, handy. Fair enough. Fair enough, boys. That's fair only enough. when the Tomcat's so far out of play that it's useless, though. Okay, we're going to merge coming on. We're going to merge coming on. Rage against two blues. No, they're going to get him with an aim on 20, I think, if they've got any. Come on, Iron. Oh, oh no, Rage. 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 Oh, what did he do? Did Rage oh. crash? Oh. Controversial. What a fucking... What, what a bell. Ah. <laughs> Rage. Rage, I can't even that one. That's silly. Right, shut up. <laughs> I think Shadow sees Star Wars. Yep. Yeah. Signori sees him. <laughs> that was fucking retarded. What happened to Rage? I was, what happened to Rage? Shadow, I Shadow was turning back towards Iron, which is good. 
Okay, I think what the fuck are you doing? Shadow's what gonna get iron. What did you do, Rage? Shadow's got iron. Big up. What did what you did do, you Rage? Do? I just turned around and um, I was looking Crash. at the radar and then I looked up and I was going to Oh, he's yeah. gonna get it. Smoked. Oh, uh, there goes iron. Iron's done. Why did you go for the Tomcat Rage? Was that uh, planned? Because there was one on the left who was flanking. And then there was one behind me, so I came out for the one behind me. It was about six miles. Oh! oh, oh star, I thought you juked uh -huh, that! Lucky. <laughs> Poor old Tomcat's got to do something now. <laughs> He's pencil. He needs to start doing his pilot. If, if this Tomcat can kill the one of our guys, do some of that I will pilot be impressed. Man. There's a walkman on. Man, it's Devil and Obi. They oh, go by they go wait, by a joint flight name of Kitty Cat, and their Walkman is always on. <laughs> he's, he's far too high. He needs to be low, like ten feet off the floor. Come on, you're so pal. You're so close. Come on, you're right. I'm actually Dude, I'm he's so he's got one on high. I'm so happy somebody fired at the decoy. <laughs> Hey, it was really good, it was really good. Oh, it's too oh, low! It's too low! Ignore it! Oh, Marge! Marge! The Tom, Tomcat doesn't Marge. see him. Oh, Tomcat's dead. dead. Oh, he fell. And he's trapped. Oh, he's hit! He's hit, but it's still airborne. Oh, we didn't... Oh! oh. Beautiful mode, boys. Uh... Oh, wait a second. Where's he gone? My questions. Come on, kitty cat. They're toast now. They're they're toast. They've lost their le they've lost left engine. Yeah, you heard it spin down. Uh, I've really oh, heard it. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay guys, uh, well done. It was only ever going to go one way, but uh, you guys actually put up a good fight there, so I'm pretty chuffed, pretty chuffed for you, and you've got some good fighters there as well, so I think that's a good start of things for you guys. So I'm happy about that. Um, now, the guys that want to keep on doing PvP, you stay here and do that, but the re other guys want to come and do PvE with us, I promised we'd start that now as well, so uh, the guys that want to do PvE, come over to the Grim Reaper server and uh, come into the Playground server voice chat, and we'll get kicking.